2020 has been a crazy year, man. Yeah, it has. No fun though. Super crazy. What you up to? Man, just really just trying to get my shit to the next level as far as my OnlyFans, man. Trying to build these books and courses out. About to drop some new music for 2021. Just really, to be honest, I really want to turn on my music to the next level. Now, I remember when you told me to um, basically go crazy in YouTube, and that's what I've been doing, basically, just dropping a lot of content. But basically, I've been bringing that traffic. So when I'm ready for the for the music, I want to put like a two three hundred thousand dollar budget behind one song and every song that I drop. You feel me? So that's yeah. that's why I ain't really been dropping no music. I'm trying to do it big when I do drop. Yeah. Now you said that. You want to make your OnlyFans even bigger, but you're in the top one percent. Like, how it's, much bigger can it so, get? <laughs> no, so look, so basically, right now, I'm almost to four hundred thousand a month. You know what I mean? I really want to be the first person that's doing a million a month or more. I know it's people out there that's doing, but I want to be the first African American doing a million a month. Yeah, Which do they have like a chart statistic thing to you can see how? Who's in front of you or how, you know, where you seen, come in at? I seen a chart, but it looked it kind of, I think they place who they wanted to place on there. Because I seen people that was making 100000 200000 300000 And I was past them, but my name wasn't listed. Mm. You know what I mean? So it was kind of weird. You know what I mean? But I mean, I think Black China, you know, all the bigger celebrities, they they really up there in OnlyFans. Probably a, a few rich white people that's big, you know what I'm saying, that started it and, and went crazy. But as far as education, though, bro, I got to be like the only person that's doing this. Yeah, that's insane. To the next level. Um, and to me, it's, it's crazy because you spoke it into existence. Yeah. You hit me up. You said, yo, I'm about to start an OnlyFans. And at first, I'm like, all right, you know, it may be a temporary thing. Yeah. And a lot of people laughed at you at the beginning. And then you made 20000 your first day. Yeah. And then and it been, it been now, you're the top, now you're in the top 10 percent, the top one percent. Yeah. So, look, you know, what's crazy, right? I told myself that I was going to be just how, like I told you, because the reason why I knew I was going to be like this, is because people like results. Right. So by me preaching about credit and stuff and they're actually getting results, this is to say if you are my only fans for 30 days and your credit score will go up 100 points, that's results. So guess what? They like shit. I'm going to stay subscribed. Now, if I was selling some finesse or doing this or doing that, they, they would have just got what they got and just got off. But every month I'm coming with something different, showing them something different. They like, damn, this dude really, why you think on my tweets? They like, man, this dude really showing me something. That's, that's major, bro. You feel me? Cause if you can be a help to somebody, they, they, they don't have no choice but to love you, bro. You feel me? So that's right. why I feel like that's the reason why I'm in top 1% on OnlyFans, you know? Yeah. Now you're also taking phone calls for one hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, man, me and my bro, me and my homie, we be so busy. It's almost stressful, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like to the point where, like, like while I'm doing what I'm doing, while I'm out, like eating or you know shopping or whatever, I'm like, damn, I gotta do these phone calls, like because I'm like I'm booked up for about two weeks in phone calls. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I get to them. I mean, people waiting. I'm like, man, you know, you got this many people ahead of you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I'm for surely guaranteed you gonna call you. You know what I'm saying? So I get on there 10 minutes of advice. Some people just want, hey, bro, you know, what's what's some good primary sites or what's some good trade line sites? And they be like, man, that's all I really need to know. Or what's a good age corp site that I can go to? Because, you know, age corps is better than just starting a fresh corporation. You can basically right. get an age corp and just that's already established and just go crazy from there as far as getting loans and getting high end credit cards and stuff like that. So. Some people want to know information like that. So I got it for them. You know what I mean? I noticed you got like two or three phone numbers now. So I know this shit going crazy. Man, what? I got like four phones, bro. There's one just- Are you giving these people your real number? No, or no, how, no, no. how do you work that out? I basically just bought another phone just strictly for OnlyFans as far as the phone calls. Because it's okay. so cracking. I just like text this phone number and you know what I'm saying? Let me know. Like, okay, basically I send a mass message, right? And if they unlock the message- they will unlock the message with the phone number. So I say okay. in it, it will say text this number and you know what I'm saying, to set your date or time when I'm supposed to call you. And that's what they do. And I got people that's keeping track. It's, it's, it's very busy, but it's decent though. How long do these $150 phone calls last? Just 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes? Yep. And some people, so they try, try, to some people try to go <laughs> over. Some people do try to go over, but I got them on a timer. Okay. Yeah, I got him on the timer. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's 
Hustle, hustle of the year for sure. Man, <laughs> I had to run it up, bro. I had to, bro. I was like, I couldn't even believe it myself. I know everybody's shocked. Like, damn, bro. You feel me? Like, this man going crazy with this shit. But I just feel like, bro, like, information is, knowledge is key, bro. You already know that. So certain knowledge can make you rich. Like, we talked about plenty of times. Sure. Just some somebody might be missing some type of knowledge they need to know to be rich. Yeah. Now you recently started your YouTube channel. Well, you've been having the YouTube channel, but you've been going super yeah. crazy with it, super consistent. Um, doing a lot of views, getting a lot of feedback. But with that, there's a lot of haters too. You have a lot of other YouTubers who are making YouTube videos to discredit the information you give out. Yeah, I've seen um, that. You know, let's talk about that because you're giving out information. You're trying to keep these young men out the street. You're giving them valid info on how to build their credit and, you know, things to do and not do. And then you have other YouTubers creating interviews, well, creating content to discredit your channel. So basically, this is how I feel about that. So how YouTube goes is if they see one upcoming YouTuber, which I'm like a YouTuber now to people because I'm dropping every day. So when you come out with videos, you will basically start having people who try, who tries to ride your wave, especially if you are African-American, helping African-American and my minorities, you know what I'm saying? You will have other people who is in that field of what we do, basically, who will try to come and knock it for the clout because they are on YouTube. Some people are strictly on YouTube just for drama or just for like trying to discredit people you gotta understand that's how they make their money because you know youtube monetizes you so you can get on there and talk about whatever you want to talk about so they get paid to do that so they'll be like they find little things of like for instance everybody know i went to jail for scamming you feel me everybody know my whole background everybody know the fbi put my paperwork every detail about my me on social media so anybody can go google this so guess what? You see this person coming up talking positive. The first thing you want to do, if you think that you're in a good and you never did anything and you're from this rich right neighborhood, is come and discredit this black man who is trying to motivate these kids that's out here dying and who just basically got lack of knowledge. You come and try to knock that. You get what I'm saying? Because you don't want this black man telling these kids nothing. Let these people keep killing. Let these people keep doing this. So that's why you will see a lot of this type of stuff that's on YouTube about, oh, well, he not this and he not that. Clearly, man, they watching. These people got eyes. They see what's going on. They got social media. They see me on social media. They see what I do, bro. They know that it's not no like weird cap shit. But then you look at the people who's talking, bro, and you looking like, what? Like, you feel me? Like, even if you go look at their social media, even if you go... You have to know if somebody is talking negative about you, you have to do your full research on this person who's talking. And then you will understand why. Like, oh, this is why they're negative against this person because this person has way more. This person, they see success. They see me at 500,000 subscribers probably by February or probably more than that. You get what I'm saying? I'm investing in myself. I'm building. I'm trying to help. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a little you, different. You know, if, if you were out here... um promoting violence or it's, negativity. Exactly. Nobody will be hating. Nope. Nope. Look at if but, was not, out here I'm with not guns, the, not, not to bring not to bring up academics, but it's just just as well as academics channel. It it's if if I was on there just talking about discrediting, just bringing down people and rappers and stuff like that, they basically like remember when he first started his Chica Chirac page? It was yeah. crazy. Like I don't know if you heard about the new app called Clubhouse, right? You know, Definitely. I don't know if you've seen him and meeting them arguing, saying he was he's the reason why this, this, and that's happening. But long story short, they people even why why be in the mirror? He tweeted like, "Why is there so much hate in the world?" You know what I mean? Like people, t the world is not the same, bro. It's so much hate out here. Like when you start getting successful, now when you're not broke, no hate. When you got a lot of money and got stuff going on, it's a whole lot of hate. Even if you do stuff for people, you ain't even have your whole, own family members hating on you you might do something for them right bro and then one month you don't do something for them everything that you did for them doesn't matter they what matters is the day that they asked you to do something for them like don't nobody appreciate anything no more everybody's negative everybody's and it's this internet that we see in like it's so much of it everything is more jokey 
You know what I'm saying? Nothing is taken serious. Even with their own credit. I make a credit video. You might have the people on there saying, man, anybody can do this. Anybody. Well, everybody is not doing it. And when they are doing it, they're learning. So what do you guys are here common mad about? And it's not even about everybody's doing it or or anything like that. But you're young and you're influential. You're a rapper. Some of these kids are going to take it better if they hear it from somebody like you. Exactly, bro. So this, you know, this is why you will see people discredited because these guys that's on YouTube are already preaching this, but they have lower views. I shot past them as subscribers and they just like, why is it that this kid has more and everybody is gravitating to them and not me? And I'm saying the same thing It's because they don't matter. And they so they figure like, OK, how about I sneak this him or diss him to try to get some some of his fans my way to say he's what he's saying is not true. You get what I'm saying? But it ain't even working. They just basically waste. They wait. They gave 10 minutes, 20 minutes of their time just for no reason, because I'm not even honoring it. I'm still keep that's Hate don't stop me, basically. You feel me? And that'd be their main goal. They will say something to hopefully you just go ahead and stop everything you got going on. You get what I'm saying? But that should just turn you up. We get motivated off people that's hate. It's so much easier to keep your dog happy, healthy and ready for adventure with proactive care.